Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a little unboxing for you. I'd like to dig right in. I got a little box here from White Mountain Knives. And I think I have an idea what this is. So let's take a look. Today I'm opening with my Caviso collab with Ray Laconico. Keen. Really nice knife that I use quite a bit. So it's a little dirty, but that's alright. That's what knives are for. Let's go ahead and open this up right there. Put that off to the side. And here we go. All right. Keynotes. What do we got here? Oh, we got a QSP. All right. And looks like a Kaiser. All right. Anything else? Nope. That's it. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open one and then I'll do another video on the other one so we'll hold on to the QSP for another video okay so today we'll go ahead and open up this Kaiser let's see what this is this right there is the Kaiser Lieb M Kaiser Lieb M all right it's an uh, looks like an Azo design and it looks like it's V35 oh model V3541 C2 2.98 inch size so well let's see what that's this is all about All right, typical Kaiser boxing here. Let's see if I can get this out. This looks like a, probably is going to have a little card. I'm guessing here. Yep. Oh, well, it's got typical little cloth and paperwork. So we'll keep that together there. Put that off to the side. All right, here we go. Oh, as you can see, they include a little extra hardware. That's always nice. All right. All right. So this is the leave in black micarta. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that. That's a button lock. So let's get take a look at that. This looks something brand new that I saw and hadn't seen. I have the little leave, and I should bring that out when we do the video to compare. But you can see it's black micarta. It's got a deep carry clip. That's pretty nice looking. That's a little straight. That might be a little challenge right there to get that over the pocket, but it looks like it's got a little bit of room, but it does thin out a little bit up here, so we'll see if that makes it a little bit tight. Black micarta feels really nice. It's got some nice texture to it. Definitely can feel that. Um, and it is a flipper and a button lock, so let's give it a try. There we go. Now this is a Warncliffe or a sheep's foot. I think this looks more like a sheep's foot to me with the curve in there and, and the belly. Um, and let's see what this is. This is one, can you see that? 154 CM is a steel. And this is a Azo Lieb M. So this is much bigger than the one I have. Oh yeah, there we go. That's nice. Let's see, is this pretty centered? Let's take a look. How are we on centering? Yeah, that looks pretty doggone centered. That's nice. We got some standoffs in the back here. You can see that. It's got a little st uh, stippling, stippling on, the, uh, on the flipper. That's nice. Uh, I like this black feel for it. It's really nice. Let's see the action on that. There we go. Yep, we can open it like that. Let's see. Any blade lock, blade rock? Nope, none there. So solid. Goes down nicely. So this works well with a light switch, I think. And I can do the push button. Yep, the push button works as well. That's nice. So there you go. You can also open it up like that. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of nice. I like that a lot. So I like that the shape of the blade. Let's see. Yeah, it feels pretty sharp. It's got a little bit of oil on there. You can definitely see all that. That's kind of nice. Let's get the grip on there. Yep, pretty good. You can kind of choke up. I don't know if I would with that little choil there because that definitely would dig in. This looks like you're going to be more here. So you can definitely go forward and cut. And with the button lock, you don't have thumb studs, so you're clear all the way up. This is where I can see, you know, sometimes when you have the you have the, the flipper, it would get in the way to get kind of a nice choked up kind of grip. Uh, let's see here, the clip back there, I can feel that. It's not the most comfortable. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I've, I've got to feel that. I mean, it's definitely reversible, so if you're lefty, you can definitely do it over here. But that clip is not the most comfortable, and typically I don't feel the clips with my hands, but 
I definitely feel that one. And I think after a while that would really start to dig in. So I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. We'll have to try that a little bit and, and, and play around with it and so we can kind of get our review on this knife here. So we'll see what we, what we think about this one. But anyways, this is the uh, Kaiser Lieb M. So I'm not sure if that means medium or something. Maybe they're, they're going to have a large one. But here you can see kind of an up nice and close look at that with the clip there. Definitely see the, the deep carry clip and you can see how that is a little closer to the to the um, handle on this on this side as it gets closer over here it's a little wider out here so that means it'll tighten up there right and you can see the jimping all the way up here as there is the jimping on the on the flipper right there and there's that jimping so and you can take a quick look right here get the right light on there for you, you can see the blade it's a full flat grind all the way up that's nice right and we can look back here as well. We can see the blade here as well, all the way up. A little sharpening choil, that's nice. The flipper here. All right. And you do have a lanyard hole, but it's not prioritized. Definitely will be deep carry, as you can see that. So you can see the deep carry is going to be pretty, pretty deep. So that's nice. All right. Well, this is the Kaiser Lieb M. Kind of an interesting little knife. Um, and if you if you like this video and liked any of the other stuff uh, I hope you consider subscribing I sure would appreciate it and if you like this video as well hit that like button that sure would be great uh, and if you want to check me out over on Instagram my uh, you can check me out at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives that's Rob underscore nerdy underscore knives hey thanks again for watching and have a great day and a great week